Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Ashonda B and today I am back with a new makeup video for you guys today. I know I haven't done one in a while, but here we go. So first we're going to start off with the e.l.f. brow pencil. You guys can kind of see my brows are naturally thick, but I just go around the edges and the lower part of my brows because as you can see, it's a bit thin in that area and thick towards the middle. So yeah, I just fill in that thin area to make the entire brow look thick and beautiful. So after filling in my eyebrows, I go in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, you guys. I love this concealer. This is my favorite concealer currently. It is so hydrating and thick and just gives for co coverage overall. So I really, really like it. And I'm just filling in underneath my brows to give it that precision and nice, nice, neat, nice look, you guys. So once I've went in with the concealer under the bottom of my eyebrow, I go in a little bit towards the front top of my brow and then I just drag it because I don't like too much concealer towards the end top part of my brow because it gets a little cakey and that's not what we doing sis. We're not doing that today, period. So yeah. So this is how my gorgeous eyebrows are looking. Still nice, thick, and beautiful. Not too much going on, not too boxy, you know, just how I like it. So this product is the whole point of us doing this video here today. I'm going to be reviewing the e.l.f. Cosmetics Soothing Face Primer. I never ever tried a primer from e.l.f. Cosmetics in general. So I am so eager to try this. I start off by taking the plastic wrap off around the product. And let me tell you, it is very, very thick and tough to get off. So I do in fact like that because they're trying to keep their products secure. So I'm going ahead and squirt it out and you guys, it gives like a white, thick lotion kind of look. Um, and once I start putting it on, it is very soothing. Like I did not know it was going to be this soothing. It is super smooth on my skin and also hydrating at the same time. So I really do like it. I believe I paid five to six dollars i believe it was six dollars for this product if i'm mistaken i will add the price in but yes you guys i really really like this it's very hydrating on my skin So I currently do not own a e.l.f. Cosmetics foundation. However, I will try that very soon. But for now, we're going in with the Holy Grail um, Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation in the shade 420. That's my shade. And we're just going to go in and fill this face in, blend it out very well, and make it look skin-like. In case you're wondering what I got this um, foundation brush from it is from Sephora it is an actual Sephora branded brush so yeah I believe the number is 88 um, and I do have a review telling numbers and all of that stuff so I will put my other makeup reviews in this description box of this video so you guys can know full detail on everything
So now you guys, we're going back in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Concealer and we're going to highlight the face. I like to put it underneath near the eye area and I like to put it on the forehead area, down the line, um, nose area, above the lip and below the lip on the chin, just a little bit on the chin. We don't want to do too much and have it too bright right there because that's a no-no. Now you guys just see me fanning my face because I like for my concealer to be a slight bit dry before blending it out. I got that set from Jackie Anna and it is very, very helpful. But now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Um, Cosmetics Contour Palette and I'm going to use the two darkest shades. I do feel like they are kind of on the olive side. So if you have like an olive greenish undertone, I think these are perfect for you. But e.l.f., like, come on, we need some red undertones as far as contour, baby, because yes. Now, get me wrong, I still do like the contour palette um, because I feel like these are like the darkest shades I've seen from e.l.f. on contour palettes. But I just feel like they are a little bit too green for me they give me ashy and um yeah i have red undertones a little bit i don't know if you guys can tell but yeah i do so i feel like if they gave that that would be perfect especially because their products are very affordable so i would definitely purchase that so keep that in mind elf but yeah we're just going in and we're blending out and the contour around the face cheek area by the nose you know and yeah just blending it out and making it look skin like Now I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in the shade Zambia. And as you guys can see, it has a red undertone and I felt like my face needed it because the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Contour Palette just wasn't doing enough for me as far as my skin tones. I feel like it's too olivey again. So I just don't want this makeup look to come out ashy. So we're just going in with Zambia just in case, you know, to secure the face. After adding Zambia to my face to contour along with the e.l.f. contour palette, I'm just going in and blending the whole thing out, the concealer, the contour palette from e.l.f. and the Zambia foundation stick. And yeah, we're just going to blend it out and make it look seamless.
Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter. This is probably one of my favorite e.l.f. products. Like, I didn't expect it to be as bomb as it is. I do highly recommend you put this on before putting on your foundation and after putting on your primer. I usually do that. I don't know why I didn't do that this time. But I just thought I'd still add it in there anyway because it's just that bomb. So after blending everything out, I go in with my CoverGirl Translucent Setting Powder and I just go ahead and set my face under my eyes, under like the contour part of my cheek and a little bit on my forehead area. I do not like to put a lot of setting powder on because my skin is dry, so I don't like to do it. But at the same time, I like to get the job done so I won't be out here looking real sweaty and dewy or too dewy. But yeah. Now I'm going in with this e.l.f. Cosmetics palette and it gives me pinkish, rose gold, and ashy purple. So as you guys can see, I'm starting off with that more matte powder pink and I'm just making that the base um, color for my eye look today. I'm not for sure if you guys would like to know, but I don't think this palette has an actual name. Um, so I do have a review on this already. If it does have an actual name, I'll just put that video in the description box. But now we're going in with the more pinkish dark pink tone in the eyeshadow palette i would say the darker shimmer pink look because as you guys can see the first color eyeshadow we have is like a true rose gold so that darker shimmer pink look i go in on top of the powder pink just to give it more of a you know gloss shimmer glam vibe So next you guys I go in with that rose gold in the inner corner of my eyes and I just put that because that's the lighter color so I feel like it'll make the inner corner of my eyes pop more and that it did. It looks absolutely gorgeous to me so I'm glad with that decision. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Grey Lash Mascara in the color Blackity Black just to fill my lashes in. And then I go ahead and take my bigger brush and I just brush that excess powder that I had on my face off. So, you know, my makeup can look more natural and not that matte dry look. No, sis, we're not going for that today. Now I'm just lining my lips out with a brown pencil. I like to line my lips because I feel like it just makes the whole lip combo look better no matter what kind of lip combo you're doing. If you line that lip, it's going to make it look better, like automatically. So I'm going in with a really I would say older Maybelline lipstick that I have. This is kind of a shimmery pink, not for sure the name because I took the sticker off, but as you guys can see, you see the color, you see how it looks, and you see that it matches my eye look exact. So I felt like it was perfect for this look. Then on top of that, I'm gonna add the e.l.f. lip gloss. This is like a glitter clear lip gloss and I love it so much because it doesn't put too little and it doesn't put too much, so it is just right. 
Now I'm gonna add this sweet and shimmer lip gloss, which I think is so adorable. I got this from Ulta Beauty. They have like a five for five deal going on and this lip gloss was a part of that. And I just had to have it because I love the two-tone ombre kind of thing. And I actually ended up liking this lip gloss a lot. It is very thick and it applies well and it doesn't like give you that thin, I don't know, that thin wear gloss feel. Y'all know what I'm talking about, so yeah. Now I'm going in with some blush. We're just going to blush the cheeks out a little bit. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Highlighter Duo, and I'm going to add this to my cheek area, my nose, my chin, and my forehead area. Do not forget, I did go in with my Jelly Highlighter towards the cheek area, so I'm not going to put too much of the Fenty Beauty, Beauty Highlighter right there because I just don't want to do too much near the cheeks. So lastly, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Cosmetics Spray. I've been in love with this setting spray lately. You guys know I usually use my Mini Cover FX set setting spray, but it's not big enough. I feel like because it's a Mini, it doesn't spray enough at a time, so I have to spray like a lot for it to cover the entire face. But with this setting spray, I do not have to do too much. You know, I just spray it and it applies well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And your girl is out. Peace out.